want to welcome everybody here to our park renaming dedication. My name is Steve Phillips. I'm the director of the City of Gainesville's Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs Department. We're very pleased and honored to have everybody here today. Uh, so what I'd like to do is to get this thing started. I'd like to introduce you, our mayor of the of Gainesville. Let's give a nice round of applause to Mayor Warren Poe. events going on this weekend to honor the memory and celebrate the birthday of our native son, Tom Petty. Uh, uh, we also have the Petty family here. Uh, so if you're a part of the extended family, 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 Every business he went into, I teach out at Santa Fe College, at City Hall, it didn't matter where you went, Tom Petty was in the background, and it was such a beautiful thing. Uh, and immediately, the request started coming in for what we're going to do to memorialize him and, and honor him. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, there were some really out there ideas. <laughs> and I think Tom would have loved them. Uh, he would have loved the creativity that went into some of these ideas in his memory. And the thing that kept coming up over and over uh, was this part, uh, that this is where he spent his childhood. This is where he, he was with his friends and where he escaped and where he played his games and, and just uh, soaked in uh, the, the experience that was Gainesville uh, you know, back in, in the 70s. Uh, and so uh, this will forever now be known as Tom Petty Park. <laughs> If we could uh, please, uh, first of all, want to recognize uh, a couple of our most important people. Uh, uh, we have Bruce Petty uh, and Adrian Petty. Uh, so if y'all would like to come up and uh, say a few words, the crowd would really appreciate that. here, he would have gotten one right away. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my brother and I grew up in this park and we played as kids and it was, uh, uh, my cousin reminded me of my remark the other day that it was a sanctuary and it really was. It was a place for us to escape and, and be kids and have fun and uh, so the fact that we're doing this today in the park that we played in it is just makes it so much more special to our family and, and myself and 
I know Adria's mother, Jane, played in this park, and my wife, Beth, played in this park. My kids have played in this park. And today, when we're done, my grandkids and my brother's grandchild are going to play in this park. And I'm a terrible speaker, by the way. But uh, I'd be better on the radio. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to turn this over to my beautiful niece, Adria. Hi, guys. First of all, I, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that came out in 90 Degrees to dedicate this park to my dad. Um, 95. Um, it's me and Bruce are very reluctant public speakers. Um, I'm a, I have a face for radio, definitely, like not the person that wants to be out here. Um, but I want to thank you because the fans of Tom Petty and the people um, across the world and the country who share him in common have made this really difficult loss for us just so much easier. And the fact that he could move you to be here um, that we're here and that you're a part of our family now in a certain way. I just want to thank you and really welcome you to our family. Say how much it means to my mother, my stepmother Dana, who sadly is not here, and my sister Anna Kim, and my brother Dylan, and my daughter Everly. Um, we are an extended family uh, around my dad, who just are so grateful for the love and the compassion and just relating to all of you guys um, through the last 12 months. Um, Gainesville is an extraordinary place and if you listen to my dad's music here it has a different meaning. I don't know if some of the fans have felt that maybe driving around but the idea of the air smelling good and the trees were green I mean there's nothing like this park to really illustrate that. Um, Dreamville has been blasting in my brain since I landed in Florida. And, um, you know, what the mayor was saying about uh, this being a really special place that fosters creativity, that fosters all kinds of things, from the athlete in you to the artist in you, it's a very important town to Florida. Florida is a really beautiful, really complex place. And uh, it, it fosters a lot of intelligence, a lot of compassion, incredible manners, incredible decency. And it's something to be really proud of that my dad was from Gainesville. And um, I, I could probably talk about it all day, just how much Florida has meant to me in terms of being somebody that was raised in Los Angeles. I always felt that I was a native of this place and uh, my mom and dad took me to St. Augustine every year of my life you know I just I really believe in the way people treat each other here and uh, I love that this town is embracing uh, Pride Week at the same time as my father because my father wanted people to live what they believed and be who they wanted to be and not be oppressed by somebody's idea of what is right or wrong just be decent be decent and that was my dad. My dad was always about the golden rule in the Sermon on the Mount, you know. And nothing more complex than that. So, who Ben really wanted me to thank. Um, and just to quote him, he said, Mostly I think of a town full of music and vibe for days, with baseball diamonds and little parks, and so many really, really good people. And so much love in the air, and the promise of endless possibility. So I'll leave you with that. And I thank you for being here. I hope you have a great weekend. last 12 months have been the hardest that we've ever dealt with, I know Adrian and I, and the love that we've felt out of this community during that time has been amazing. You people have really touched us so much, and I haven't had a chance to thank the University of Florida, but when you guys are singing at the end of the third quarter... We watched you from California the first time you did it, and we just all cried. It was amazing. So, thank you. Thank you. My daughters were there, actually. But, 
State and University of Florida, go Gators. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We should also thank the Tom Petty Nation and Keith Everland, obviously. I mean, you guys are absolutely out of control. And I thank you, and I think a lot of people have joined in and just seen what incredible stuff you guys do. So thank you. Okay, everybody ready? Everybody in place? We're going to do an old one, two, three here. All right, on three. One, two, three. Tom Petty Park! Woo!